Greetings, everyone. Well, last time we took a look at uh, three new 12 movie packs from Mill Creek. Today, we've got three more tucked away nicely in ye old treasure chest here. So let's see what other goodies we got from Mill Creek for Halloween today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> Welcome back. Alrighty, let's crack open ye old treasure chest here. And, uh, it's a little bit stiff. Alrighty, so starting from the top, we have another 12. These are all 12 movie packs, much like the last batch here. We have Freak Show Cinema. There you go. Now, this is interesting. Now, most of the other movie packs that we've looked at are older movies, you know, from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, some from the 80s. But uh, generally older stuff that's lapsed into the public domain or public domain prints or what have you. All of these are actually fairly recent. These are all, this is a collection of indie horror films. So a lot of like ultra low budget recent stuff done on the cheap. And um, just a great little collection of, of craziness here. So here's what we got. Um, yeah, so starting from the top we've got Tales, from, Tales of the Dead. Grim Ghost Stories of Curses, Horror, and Gore from 2010. Yeah, it's only three years ago, so there you go. Um, I'm guessing a lot of these just couldn't get wider distribution, so they licensed them out to Mill Creek just to be part of these movie packs because they know that a lot of people are going to buy these movie packs because they're cheap, and at least that means their movie can get seen. Maybe they're not going to be rolling in mega bucks, but at least they get the exposure, you know, and they can they can get their movies out there. Then we have Zombie Genocide, Legion of the Damned from 2012. The Curse of Blanchard Hill from 2006. Idol of Evil, Hell is Forever from 2009. Below Ground, Demon Holocaust from 2012. Order of One, Kung Fu Killing Spree from 2011. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Cold Creepy Feeling, Paranormal Exorcism from 2011. Indemnity, Rage of a Jealous Vampire, from 2011. Glitter Goddess, Queen of the Sunset Strip, from, two, er, from 1991. That's the oldest one on the set, actually. Uh, Dark Measures, Gang Warfare, from 2012. By the Devil's Hands, The 666 Killer, from 2011. And finally, I love this title, Tuck Bushman and the Legend of Piddle Down Dale. <laughs> from 2009. So, yeah, not a bad selection of Z-grade, low-budget indie cheese from within the past few years, for the most part. So that's pretty cool. Um, I should mention also, if you want a little bit more information about these sets, uh, check the description. I am including full listings of all the movies that are on all of these sets, uh, as well as Amazon links. So if you want to buy them, just use the Amazon links, and you'll be sending a little bit my way as well. So that's always appreciated. Um, yeah. So, next up we have Taboo Tales. Now, the, these last two aren't strictly horror, but they're cheesy enough that I think they could fit into the Halloween fun. So, Taboo Tales, uh, for the most part, deals with older films and the perception of drugs and teenage debauchery and stuff like that from back in the day. Uh, they call it, they say, over 12 hours of doped up drama. <laughs> so, just to give you some idea, you might recognize some of these titles. Some of these are fairly well known. Uh, top of the top of the charts here, we have Reefer Madness from 1936. Then we have Delinquent Daughters from 1944. The Cocaine Fiends from 1936. Chained for Life from 1951 which features uh, genuine Siamese twins, by the way, in the lead role. The Terror of Tiny Town, 1938, which is basically um, a, a series, uh, a, a bunch of vertically challenged individuals, uh, well, they still called them midgets back then, uh, liberating their town from an evil gunslinger by riding, by riding their Shetland ponies into battle. So little people on Shetland ponies, basically, is what you're talking about here. So 
Uh, then we got The Wild and Wicked from 1956. Test Tube Babies from 1948. Apparently, Test Tube Babies were a big scandal in the 40s and because it was so new. Uh, Mad Youth from 1940, uh, 1940. The Marijuana Menace from 1937. There's a lot of movies in the 30s about the evils of marijuana. My, how the times have changed. Uh, sex Madness from 1938. Well, we all know how evil sex is, because, you know... Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something about we would be dead as a species without it, but I couldn't think of something clever and funny, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, Gambling with Souls from 1936. And finally, She Shoulda Said No from 1940. There you go. So, <laughs> taboo tales, taboos of yesteryear, dramatized for your cheesetastic enjoyment. Then finally, finally, uh, this is all stuff I have on the old set that I got. I'll just show you here to refresh your memory. Yeah. So, basically, if you have this, the 50 movie pack, the Warriors Collection, then chances are you don't need this. I got it because, well, I like the cover, okay? <laughs> Plus, it's nice to have backups of movies, you know? And this this gives me legitimate backups of 12 of the 50 movies that are on the Warriors pack. So, let's put that down there. All right, so here we have 12 sword and sandal epics of epic proportions. We've got Colossus and the Amazon Queen, Duel uh, from 1960, Duel of Champions from 1961, The Conqueror of the Orient from 1962, The Last of the Vikings from 1961, Damon and Pythias from 1962, Fury of Hercules from 1962, uh, Queen of the Amazons from 1947, Vengeance of Ursus from 1961, Atlas in the Land of the Cyclops from 1961, Fire Monsters Against the Son of Hercules from 1962, The White Warrior from 1959, and finally Triumph of the Son of Hercules from 1961. You notice most of them, most of the films in this genre occur within like a four-year time span between the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, yeah, there was, you know, there was some Hercules movies that came out here around that time that were fairly pop, excuse me, that were fairly popular. And, um... You know, Italian cinema was notorious for just cashing in on whatever was popular in America. So, for example, westerns were popular in America, so you had the spaghetti western genre. Um, so here, sword and sandal stuff was really popular in America, so they cashed in on that. But, I mean, they just went balls to the wall. They just did. They just cranked out so many of these things in such a short period of time. It's, it's crazy. So this was their answer to things like Hercules and Spartacus and Ben-Hur and stuff like that. So you get a lot of things about uh, Greek gods and a lot of stuff about uh, gladiators. So there you go. That's kind of the gist of the sword and sandal genre. I really like it. I mean, I enjoy them just as sort of cheesy, you know, low-grade fantasy stories and uh, stuff like that. And some of them have really cheesy monsters in them and, and everything too, which I just, I really dig stuff like that. So yeah, so Dawn of the Immortals will give you a nice uh, taste of 12 of them. Um, I don't know if I'd say the best. There's definitely some good ones on there. Um, but yeah, you know. But honestly, I mean, it's, it's a toss-up. If you find this and just kind of want a taste of the genre, get this. If you want to get a good chunk of the a good chunk of the genre on the cheap get this because chances are you can probably find this for about five bucks more than the other one so either way you're well covered um i really like this set personally but um but i like this one too i mean it's just they make nice display pieces sadly there's not a lot of sword and sandal collections out there i really wish that more movies from this genre would would come out because I would, um, you know, I'd like to get more of them. And some of them were, were kind of a series, so I don't know, whatever. Anyway, that's the latest from Mill Creek. So six movie packs total. Three we covered last time, three we covered this time. So we got Freak Show Cinema, Taboo Tales, and Dawn of the Immortals. There you go. So available at fine stores everywhere, or if you're lazy like me, just use the Amazon links in the description, and you can probably get them for 10 bucks or less. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now. Let's put these back in the treasure chest. There we go, make sure that's actually in 
side this time. Okay, so next time, next time, who knows? Tune in next time to find out. But pretty much guaranteed it's going to be more Halloween stuff. Alrighty. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.